Hey folks, you know what time it is. It's time for another unboxing. And today we have the Fender Pugilist, which I'm super excited about. It has two distortion engines, which you can blend or run in series, which gives it its uh, unique character. So yeah, this is exciting. Zones. There it is, the Pugilist Distortion by Fender. There it is. Beautiful pedal, this nice anodized uh, goldish color. And today I'll be using my trusty Ibanez RG uh, with DiMarzio pickups and running the Pugilist through the HX FX uh, for some delay and reverb. Uh, but I will show you what it sounds like, just completely dry, just the pedal itself. And then I will show you what it sounds like uh, running with those effects and also my favorite setting uh, to get that kind of more closer to the 80s metal kind of sound that I usually tend to to love and uh, yeah so it's gonna be cool uh, so I am using IRs on the HX effects and also you probably can't see it from here but <laughs> on this top screen here you know, I also use some EQ, uh, but we'll, I will turn this off so you can hear the difference. And then later show you what it sounds like with the Tube Screamer, which I also use in the HX effects to kind of blend all that together to tighten up the sound. All right, so what we have here is a blend knob, which is really cool because you have two gain, I guess distortion engines is what Fender calls it. You have gain A, and you have the gain B um, section right here. And blend it all the way to the left is, of course, channel A. Blend it all the way to the right, channel B. And it's really cool. You also have the series switch here, which you can either use the blend, which is running parallel. Uh, so you can blend the two channels or run in series as if you were running like a pedal into another pedal. And, you know, sometimes you can get more sustain in a a certain type of smoother sound running in series as opposed to parallel. Well, what's great about the blend knob though is you might like, you know, the character of channel A and maybe maybe there's a lot more uh, dynamics or something. And then channel B being a more modern channel has a lot more gain. So you're going to get more sustain. So you might want to blend those two and it's really cool. So we'll start on channel A and the gain all the way down this is what it sounds like well first let me show you uh the clean sound running direct so no edge of breakup or anything i just wanted to show you guys exactly what the pedal sounds like if you run into a clean amp or run direct like me all right here it is Pretty cool, you know, just your basic vintage kind of classic 70s uh, overdrive. So cleans cleans up pretty good. So uh, that's one of the things I like about it. It's very amp-like in that way where you just play really soft. And then just dig in. The harder you dig in, the more gain you get. 
like that. Okay, and this is what it sounds like if I am about nine o'clock on the game. And let me show you the volume knob. So it has a really nice kind of, I don't know, I'm going to use weird adjectives, uh, very buttery and it's a very warm sound, kind of furry, fuzzy. Maybe a touch buzzy as well, but it, it, it's like it has an even buzziness to it, if that makes sense. Because sometimes I'll get pedals and they have that buzziness to it to give you that kind of martial thing. But it's it's kind of too buzzy. It has this kind of presence that you can you, you just can't take out. And when you do, you know, like maybe t take the treble or presence down a lot, then you lose the character of that buzz that you love. Whereas this is not like that. <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, 12 o'clock. Let's go three quarters. Yeah, so pretty cool. Let's go all the way on the gain. So yeah, it has a nice, really nice sound to it. So now let me show you channel B. Okay, at nine o'clock. So yeah, it sounds pretty rocking, you know, kind of now getting more to a modern distortion kind of sound. Still a little bit more like an overdrive though. Okay, it's three quarters of the way.
As you can hear, it's a little bit bassy. I mean, it has like a, it's a little flubby. Um, but that's, it's all good though, because uh, there's different ways that we can get that out. I'll show you in a little bit. But first, let me show you the, the tone knob here, which will start all the way down here. Take that back. But yeah, it's a pretty good tone knob. Um, and not too shabby, but you know, it would be better if it had an EQ. But uh, hey, it was a hundred bucks. So, but yeah, as you can also see, there is this bass switch, which uh, right now, like I said, it's a little flubby. But that's that's only a bad thing if you're trying to get like a more tight sound, crunchy, like more metal. But this is great with the bass uh, switch on. What's great about it is if you're just going to mostly do chords or bluesy kind of stuff, that's really great. It fills it out. Yeah, so really the bass, I think I, I like using the bass switch whenever I have it mixed with my Tube Screamer. Uh, just evens everything out where it's still kind of relatively tight, but not too flubby, but still giving it up body uh, when I do chords. Okay, we'll turn this off here. And let me show you the blend knob here. Okay, so let's go halfway, and we're just going to start with the zero on both the game. Okay, let's go halfway with channel A. So yeah, 
that has a really nice smooth kind of sound when you blend the two together. Uh, let me go ahead and add about half and half here. See if we can get more of an 80s metal kind of thing going on. So I'll add a little bit more of both. About like that. There we go. Yeah, getting closer. Let's let's go ahead and go with more gain on A. I think A, in my opinion, it's a little cleaner, whereas B, if you're not careful, it gets really flubby. Okay, so we'll add about this much gain there. Let's add a little bit more tone. I'm gonna go all the way with channel B, gain B, because I feel like uh, I don't know, I feel like it adds a lot more treble and, and presence than channel A. Yeah, it's getting in the ballpark. Let's see. I'm going to add the tone all the way. That's the, the one thing I noticed about this pedal, but it depends on what you're going to play through. If you're playing through an amp and you have, have a bright switch or just a bright amp in general, uh, you're going to get a lot more presence out of this pedal. But since I'm running an IR and running straight in direct, it already from the start has kind of a warm, uh, not so bright sound. So the pedal is just going to be kind of an extension of that. So now we're getting into territory that I like, which is there's enough presence there. It still sounds kind of warm. But yeah, okay, so let's do this here. I will turn on the EQ, which I have two EQ stacked right here. And also add some reverb to give it a little bit more space, but I'll show you without it first, like this. So here's this. kind of opens it up even more with that uh, plate reverb. Uh, yeah, there you go. And just adding the space, some EQ, which I added, some presence, uh, some bass in there, some mids, and... 
All right, so I'll turn the bass on here. This gives it that more, you know, fills everything out. Yeah, so it's really cool. But with the Tube Screamer, I will show you why I like it with the Tube Screamer here. It just adds a lot more sustain and it tightens it up some that so you can get those harmonics and the sustain to do the runs and stuff like that. TS-808, uh, I think is what I'm using, the Tube Screamer, uh, then yeah, it, it has that kind of, you know, overdriven, uh, hot-rotted Marshall JCM-800 kind of thing. <laughs> So there you have it folks, the Fender Pugilist Distortion Pedal. It's a really great pedal, it looks really cool with this uh, anodized gold kind of finish here and it has this really cool compartment here for the battery. Boom, just like that. So you don't even have to unscrew it, you don't need a screwdriver, you don't have to take it apart. That's really cool I find. And it has this really cool, these cool LED lights. If you need them on, like you're on stage, uh, or if you don't want it, turn it off. 
Uh, it's really versatile. Like I said, it has the more vintage mid-range kind of gain overdrive on channel A and channel B, a little bit more modern, a little more scoop sounding. But yeah, it's a really versatile pedal. And uh, yeah, experiment, just like what I was showing you here with the HX effects, you know, use some EQ, add a little bit more space with some reverb, uh, throw a Tube Screamer or a SD-1 in front of it to give you a little bit more of a tighter sound, more sustain, more gain, all that kind of good stuff. And thank you so much for watching and had a blast and hope you did. And hit that like button, subscribe to help the channel out, help it grow. Uh, also hit that notification bell so that way you can get the latest updates on the videos that I release. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.